Okay, so we've deviated a little bit from the uh, main learning outcome for this lecture, and that is that of uh, noise, the concept of noise figure circles. So these are the equations for noise figure circles. So you can see here that we have a circle equation, we have the center given by this expression, and we have the radius given by this expression. It's very important to point out that these circles are plotted in the gamma s plane. So remember that gamma s is the impedance or the reflection coefficient seen looking in to the input matching network from the point of view of the amplifier stage here. So this would be gamma in here. So I keep stressing the fact that the noise figure circles are plotted in the gamma s plane. This can be problematic, for example, if you are working with the uh, equations that we, see, that we saw last time for the operating gain. Recall that these equations for the operating power gain circle represent circles in the gamma L plane. Okay, so these equations in this form are not compatible with the noise figure circles. In QUCS and in QUCS Studio, there's a function called GP circle. Uh, and you can see here over on the right hand side, this is from the QUCS reference manual. The function GP circle plots constant operating power gain circles in the load plane. Okay, and you can see the equations that are referenced here in the manual match the equations that we have here. But the operating gain circles can still be used together with the noise figure circles. All we have to do is map the operating gain circles from the gamma L plane to the gamma S plane. So we can do that first by recalling that the operating power gain circle assumes a perfect match on the input of the amplifier. And from a couple of the previous lectures, we know that gamma N is a function of gamma L. And this equation here can be rewritten like this and substituted in place for gamma n. From this we can solve for gamma l and we can plug that into our circle equations for the operating power gain. At the end of the day we end up with another set of circles but this time our circles reside in the gamma s plane. Okay so these operating power gain circles are compatible with the noise figure circles for use in the gamma s plane. So unfortunately in QCS and QCS Studio, uh, there's no way, unless you do it manually, to plot the operating power gain circles in the gamma s plane. But the Python scripts that I gave you um, a week or two ago do map the operating power gain circles from the gamma l plane to the gamma s plane. So you can use those Python scripts if you need them, or you can take a look to see how, how that was done. Uh, the operating power gain isn't the only uh, gain circle that we saw. We also saw the the unilateral gain circle, and we talked briefly about the available power gain circles, but I left that uh, constant gain circle uh, f for this lecture because I wanted to talk about the, the use of this equation together with noise figure circles. So the circle equations for the available power gain circles are already in the gamma S plane, so that's convenient. In QUCS and QUCS Studio, there's a function called GA circle, and GA circle plots constant available power gain circles in the source plane. So there's nothing else we need to do here. Our circle equations for the available power gain is already in the gamma S plane. I can see here that I have uh, gamma L, that should be gamma S. I'll fix that before I upload these uh, slides to Brightspace. Everything else should be correct.